Tiger, we are on the courts at MSG, the Nets versus Knicks game, and you are celebrating the release of your new shoe, the Reebok Classic T Raw. It's a shoe that I designed with Reebok, and um, basically, I wanted to make something real sleek and real, um, you know, comfortable, but at the same time, sporty and still fashionable. How lucky are you guys that you can actually have comfortable and looking good at the same time? Because us women don't get that a lot. And we even made women's sizes, so you know. Okay, I know, so I know, them heels be hurting some time too. They so. Do. So we'll just put on a pair of T Raws, right? Right. Yep. You're known for your fashions as well. I interviewed Tiana Wallace. Uh, Biggie Small's daughter the other day. She was talking about how everyone loves your fashion and she was saying that, you know, she thinks you might have been influenced by her dad, you know, rocking the gold chains and the Versace. Has Biggie influenced your fashion? Um, yeah, definitely, because, you know, like, Biggie, him and, him and Diddy, they was doing it a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? Like, Diddy, like, I've been good friends with Diddy for a minute, you know what I'm saying? He recognized what I was doing. Um, you know, with the fashion stuff, and he was like, you know, we used to do all that stuff, and he'll give me like pointers and stuff like that. So you know, but um, definitely Biggie was a big influence on, um, I think, not only music but fashion. You know, you're working on the new album, Hotel California, that's going to be out in March. Yeah, um, March. Ross is on it. Chris Brown's on it. With Khalifa, what else can you tell us about the album? Basically, um, the album is. It's, I made the album like a, a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? What I say by that is, um, I just made I made it in a short amount of time because I wanted everything to feel the same as vibe, and I feel like people now, that people mixtapes are better than their albums. You know what I'm saying? And people, that's true. A lot of people love the mixtapes more than they love the albums because they feel like when people make albums, they make it too commercial, and you know what I'm saying? They, um, you know, they know that they have to make a lot of commercial stuff, and people put too much thought into some stuff sometimes when. Sometimes you gotta let the music just let it be and flow and put it out. So I made the album like a really, really good mixtape. Uh, used to be Valentine's together all the time. Thought when you have another album coming out with Chris Brown, fan of a fan too. Yeah, I just talked to him the other day. What's he we, talking we about? We need to, um, we, we trying to finish it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, he's finishing his album and I'm finishing um, my album right now. Probably after that, maybe we can um, finish it up. There's been a lot of talk about where you were brought up, um, you know, video had surfaced where you were talking about being from the suburbs, and you know everyone's been talking about that a lot, but set the record straight once and for all. <laughs> I never grew up, you know what I'm saying, a valley or nothing like that. I never really addressed the situation because, um, you know, everybody in L.A. knows uh, where I grew up and where I went to school and who I hung around, you know what I'm saying? So. I mean, I, I really never address the situation because it's just like every time somebody say something about me, I got to stop doing what I'm doing in my life to address people that ain't doing shit with their life. You know what I mean? And it's kind of stupid, but um, I, grew, I went to Gardena High. You know what I'm saying? Um, Gardena is, is basically borderline with Compton. I grew, I grew up back and forth from Gardena to Compton. I never grew up in the Valley. Um, I think it was a TV show that I did. I was about maybe, I probably was like 16 or something like that. And um, it was a scripted show, you know, and they put, they put it out now when I blew up. They should have put it out back then so I could, you know, I would have blew up back then or something. You feel me? But A lot of people have been talking about the Freddie situation. You know, some people have said that he was your artist, but apparently that's not true. Freddie, the, the um, rapper who tweeted yeah, about his that's suicide. A, um, that's another situation I never addressed because, like I said, I got to stop making my album and it throws me off of what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, to address... Little, little, little stuff like that, but um, Freddie E, I, I never heard of him, never met him, you know what I'm saying? And I know like people, like you know, people was mad, like why you didn't, you know, why you don't say anything about your art? I'm like, it's not my artist. I never met the guy. I never, I've never even heard of him. You know His what I'm saying? His ex-girlfriend is your artist, Honey Cocaine. Honey Cocaine, yeah, she uh, she works with me, but um, you know, I'm sorry, you know, for his loss, and my prayers go out to him and his family. But, um, yeah. Talk to me about being a dad. Has that changed you? Has that changed your music? What kind of impact has that had on you? It matured me a lot. Um, I, looked at, I, look, I look at life a little, bit, a little bit different now. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, having more to live for and 
more than just, you know, you and your family and taking care of your friends and, you know what I'm saying, your hunger for success. Now it's like, you know, you really got somebody that, um, that you owe a lot to. Do you feel like you made it now? Like, is that a sign that you've made it, you've got your own shit? Um, it's a sign of uh, growing as a businessman, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, like you said, I'm a, I'm a musician first, but at the same time, like, it's still a business, you know what I mean? And I'm real good with business, and that's why I've uh, came so far. 